I, uh... I have no context for these recordings. I just listen to them and write down what I hear. The agency I work for, a very upscale, private, and... An off-the-books agency provides transcription services for the government. We create a written record for things that have to be destroyed so that the content can still be referenced if the need arises. Most of the time, we transcribe notes from meetings, uh, clandestine recordings of conversations between, between parties that are uh, less than reputable, or personal notes from the science types who are working on very, very interesting things. And really, anything you can imagine comes through here. Just name it. How we then transcribe? And we guarantee that the information we record will never see the light of day, which, as you can imagine, is really damn important. So, so all of us little typewriters have to be squeaky clean. Not so much as a parking ticket on our records. They want us to be the underachievers, people who slip through the cracks and either fail or succeed. Just the average guy who could vanish tomorrow without a trace, without so much as a single question. That's important. Had a few leaks in uh, recent years, and a few people I know personally are now on extended vacations. It goes without saying that I'm taking a giant risk by doing this. Well, why do it then, right? Because, because I want to expose the truth, because I'm tired of all the bullshit that gets thrown at me, and I want to oust some nasty people who by all rights deserve it? Well, no. Actually, unfortunately, it's much more selfish and less glamorous than that. I had an opiate addiction for years. I um, broke my back in a freak accident when I was younger, and I've been in pain ever since. Got addicted to the painkillers, uh, oxy specifically, and and things have sort of spiraled down from there. So I guess I guess the easiest way to describe it is just to say I'm. Suicidal coward. I don't have the balls, the ability to do anything about it myself, but I'm... I'm damn tired of things. I'd, I'd love to do something about it, even if I had the courage. I can't ever leave this job. To sign what is quite literally a lifetime contract, if I were to try and buy a gun, I'd be thrown in jail. They take workplace safety almost too seriously, and I'm quite aware there are many more ways than shooting oneself to commit suicide, but like I said, I'm a coward, and frankly, if I screw up, the consequences of trying to get out of this contract are far worse than what little I've got now. I'll have my public name destroyed, and any chance of a normal life would be gone, and there are much less pleasant places than jail they could send me to, believe me. So it's easier to just leak a little information here and there, and wait for the hammer to fall. One night I'll go to sleep. And the next. I'll be another statistic. Another victim of the senseless gun violence here in America. How sad. And to address the obvious question, I'm sure everyone will be asking, it was the money. <laughs> I make an absolutely disgusting salary, which I'd enjoy if I were able to. But the addiction kind of ruins it. Contrary to what most people who are on the poor side think financial stability doesn't equate to happiness, especially when you can't spend it on huge, loud luxuries that'll make you stick out. But like a lot of poor people who get high-paying jobs, when I joined, I figured the money would fix things. Like a lot of really shitty decisions, it seems like a good idea at the time. Yeah. My recent projects have been just transcribing some 911 calls that are that's left out of public scrutiny. The agency that hired us to transcribe and then destroy the tapes. Well, they don't want the public to panic. I figured you guys might be interested in a few of those tapes. Here's the first one. What's the nature of your emergency? Yeah, I've got someone out here who sounds like they're beating something to death. And this is on your property? Yeah. I've got about 10 acres back in the woods out here, and Jesus, can you hear that? Are you in any immediate danger, sir? No, no. I just wanted someone to come out here and check it out. What is your name, sir? Uh, David Shale. How do you spell that? S-H-A-L-E. Look, can you get someone out here quick? Whatever this guy's doing out here, he's really hurting something. You can hear that, right? What's your address, Mr. Shale? 
Uh, 306 Juniper. Okay, I'm sending a unit out to your location, but you're out pretty far, so it's going to take them about 15 minutes to get to you. You said you're not in any danger? No, no, I'm fine. I've got a rifle in the house. Okay. Can you describe to me what the situation is? Well, about 10 minutes ago, I was in the living room, and I started hearing this sound over the TV. So I turned it off, went out here on the deck, and I thought I heard a guy talking somewhere past the edge of the yard. But I don't have lights out there, so I couldn't really see anything. Then I heard this big thud, and now it sounds like there's a, a dog or, or coyote that's getting beat to death. You can't hear it? No, sir. So you say it's been going on about 10 minutes? Well, no. The howling's been going on about five, but... Are you there, David? Sir, are you there? David? Yeah, uh... Is everything all right? When did you say those guys are going to be out here? The officer's on his way now. Is everything okay? Uh, uh, yeah. Everything's... What the hell? Sir, what's going on? Uh, well, nothing. It's just... Damn. Tell me what's going on. No, it's fine. It's just... Fuck! I can't see anything. The howling stopped, and I think there's a guy right on the edge of the yard. I can't tell. Sir, you need Hang to on. stay on the line I'm gonna turn on my phone's flashlight thing here. Don't approach them, okay? For a sec. Sir, are you there? Shit! What's going on? Jesus! What? There's a guy out here! You need to get someone out here quick, or I'm gonna get my rifle. Hey! This is private property! I've got the cops coming! You better leave! Police are on their way, but you need to go back inside, sir. Don't approach him. Damn! He's... He may want to send an, an ambulance out here or something. This guy's really fucked up! What's going on with him? Well, he's... He looks like he's been in an accident or something. Like, his skin looks all... Ugh! Sir, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I'm... Holy shit! Do you hear that? Holy shit! What is that? What's making that sound? He is! He just... He's standing there with his mouth open and he's just screaming! Holy shit, I've never... What was that? Sir? I... Uh, I went back in. I'm inside. He, he's out there just howling and looking at me, and he's got no clothes, I don't think. I can't tell for sure. Is he bleeding? No. No, he's not bleeding, but there's there's something wrong with his skin. It's, it's not right. I can't really tell. Is he armed? No, I don't think so. Holy shit, did you hear that? Yes. The police are about 10 minutes away, so just hang tight with me, okay? Stay on the line. They're almost there. Okay. Sir? I'm just... I'm getting a flashlight so I can shine it out the door. I can't see him anymore. Motherfucker! Sir? What's going Son on? Son of a bitch! Unit 9, can I get an update on the location? Sir, the unit is only three minutes away from you. Is he trying to break in? No. He's still at the edge of the yard, but I shot my light on him and he's got... You need to send someone out here, because there's something wrong with him. There's something what do you mean? wrong with his skin. I, I need you it's to calm like down it's and talk to him. It's not even skin. It's... Going on. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Sure. He's at the door. He's at the door. Oh, my God. What is this? His skin's made of, of fingernails or something. It's hard, and it's like like scales, but I swear to God, they're fingernails. Like thousands of... Get out of here. The cops are coming. You gotta... Fuck. Fuck. Oh, Thank God, I can see the car. I can see the car. Oh, he's running. He's running back into the woods. Sir. Out back. He's there. heading into the woods. Yeah, yeah, right there. Shit. Fuck. Interesting, isn't it? I wish I had some context around it, but of course, that's impossible. Either way, there's a lot more where that came from. Assuming I'm alive in the coming days, maybe I'll post more. Yes, we'll have to see, won't we?